Hello, everybody, and welcome to Cytiva for another episode of What's the Difference? Today, we will be showing the differences between your standard syringe filter and the Wattman GDX Gradient Density Syringe Filter from Cytiva. Both syringe filters will produce a filtered sample ready for the next step in your process. But not all syringe filters are created equal. Let's focus on what's the difference between these two designs. First, let's look at the standard syringe filter. Retrieve your standard syringe. Begin with the plunger inside the syringe barrel. Draw the liquid to be filtered into the syringe barrel. Now retrieve the syringe filter and place it onto the syringe by using the slip lure fitting or lure lock on the end of the syringe. Now, depress the plunger, filtering your sample. Without a pre-filter, the standard syringe filter may clog as it does here. Continue replacing syringe filters until filtration of the sample is completed. This may take several filters as it does here. Now let's switch to the Wattman GDX Gradient Density Syringe Filter from Cytiva. The Wattman GDX is a gradient density filter which means it has multiple layers to trap a range of particulates. Okay, let's start. Retrieve your standard syringe and fill it with your sample. Attach the Wattman GDX. Now depress the plunger, filtering the sample. This should require only one Wattman GDX syringe filter. We have shown the advantage of using a gradient density filter versus a standard syringe filter when filtering samples with a high number of particulates. The sample shown here would have required at least three syringe filters using the conventional method due to clogging. So, what's the difference? The Wattman GDX Gradient Density Syringe Filter from Cytiva. Designed for convenience, speed, and efficiency.